Hello folks and welcome to the Clipper. Of course, uh, we're out here on the number 13 hole, our signature hole at the Clipper. And I'm here again with Neil Takara, Titleist uh, representative for the state of Hawaii. Uh, today, we're out here trying to beat the weather and we're talking about golf balls. Uh, and, and the reason we're talking about golf balls is Titleist is the number one ball in golf. So who would know better than Neil Takara to tell us a little bit about how to choose a golf ball for you. And uh, so we have the subject matter expert. I've been using that word a lot. But uh, Neil, tell us now, you have a diversity of golf balls in your lineup mm -hmm. and there is something for everyone, right? Absolutely. So um, I know that everyone is crazy about Pro V1 golf balls and rightfully so, but Pro V1 golf ball might not be right for everyone. Is that correct? Well, yes and no, okay. to be quite honest. So the Pro V golf ball in our Pro V lineup, right? is the best performing golf ball we have in our entire lineup. Now, whether you're a touring professional mm -hmm. or you're a high handicapper, mm -hmm. Pro V1 golf balls are gonna give you the best opportunity to shoot your lowest course possible. Okay. It's gonna provide the best combination of flight, feel, and spin, mm -hmm. as well as a little bit more distance off the tee. Oh. But again, there's a lot of different factors that, that go into a golf ball that may not appeal to all golfers. Yeah, okay. Uh, maybe you have a golfer that just prioritized something that has a very soft feel. Mm -hmm. Now, the Pro V golf ball is soft, but right. we do make softer golf balls in our lineup. Okay. Golf balls like the Tour Soft, the uh, AVX, our Velocity, our True Field golf balls. Yeah. Every golf ball has slightly different characteristics. Okay. And it's not like, hey, it's always a bad choice. Uh -huh. The reason why we don't make just one golf ball is because people have different preferences. Yeah. You know? For example, our Velocity golf ball, which is our distance golf ball, it's a lower spinning golf ball, but it's available in multiple colors. Yes. Okay? Maybe a person wants to play a matte green golf ball, or a matte orange golf ball, uh -huh. and that's what, that's what they enjoy doing. That's what they like to do when they play yeah. golf. Um, on the flip side, you may have a a scratch golfer that prioritizes the highest performing golf ball we have and that would be either your Pro V or your Pro VX. Right, okay. right. Um, one of the questions that always comes up um, is a lot of people always ask, what's the difference between a Pro V and a Pro VX? Yeah. yeah. And again, um, both golf balls, highest performing golf ball we have in our lineup, but the Pro V is going to feel a little bit softer than the Pro VX. Mm -hmm. From a flight perspective, it's going to fly a little bit lower. Right. than the Pro VX. Now as far as the overall spin, the Pro V1 now spins a little bit less okay. than the Pro VX. Not more, but less than the Pro VX oh, okay. right now. And um, so that, that, that lower spin is better for someone that swings faster, is that correct? Or? Not necessarily swings faster, but maybe generates a lot of spin. Got it. See, a, a lot of times it, it's not about how faster ball speed is, it's going to determine what ball you play. Uh -huh. It all depends on what that golfer prioritizes. Like again, with the Pro V1 having a little bit lower ball flight, mm -hmm. even if you're not a very high speed ball player, uh -huh. but you want to flight your ball down a little bit, yeah. the Pro V1 might be suited for Got it. it. Yeah. So, so there's more to it than just swing speed. Absolutely, yeah. It's okay. not just swing speed, it's how we fit or recommend golf balls. Okay. Because for example, um, I did a, a, a women's event a few years back, um, a ball fitting event, uh -huh. and there was a number of women that are already playing a Pro V and even Pro V X's for that matter. Uh -huh. So regardless of gender, regardless of age, regardless of swing speed, right? right? The Pro V1, Pro V1 X golf balls, they're designed for golfers with, with all different um, abilities yeah. and, and things like that. Okay, so this is one that uh, I get asked a lot and I, I never know quite how to answer this. AVX, mm -hmm. what, why, why AVX instead of Pro V1? Good question. Well, the AVX golf ball has been out for a few years now uh -huh. and it is a urethane covered golf ball. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as a field perspective goes, mm -hmm. the AVX is a little bit softer than the Pro V1. Okay. Pro V1, albeit being softer than Pro VX. So between those three golf balls, yeah. AVX is going to feel the softest. Okay. From a flight perspective, the AVX is going to flight a little bit lower uh -huh. than Pro V1. Now around the greens, yeah. keep in mind that AVX is a urethane covered golf ball, right. but it's not going to react or spin the same as your Pro V or your Pro VX. It will spin more than the other golf balls in our mm -hmm. lineup, 
it just won't spin more than Pro V and Pro VX. The reason why golfers like the AVX golf ball yeah. is because of that softer feel. And a lot of guys have told me that, especially off the irons, they see a, a, a distance gain in irons from like a club to a club and a half. A distance like gain? Yeah, on the irons. Okay, how about off the tee? Off the tee, it's it's a couple of yards. It's nothing really noticeable. Said, most guys that play the AVX tell me that they like the feel, mm -hmm. but what they notice is with their iron shots that, wow, my golf ball, I, I use maybe like a club less. Got it. So even though it's not necessarily promoted as such, maybe the AVX is for somebody that might want a little more distance. And it might be for someone maybe with a little lower swing speed, right? Uh, again, I wouldn't say it's a lower swing speed. I say maybe somebody that wants to get a little bit more distance out of their shots, mm -hmm. but more than anything else, I think it just provides that softer feel. Got it. Okay. Because Pro V and Pro VX, believe it or not, um, are our two firmest feeling products in our entire lineup. Uh huh. Um, AVX coming in a little bit softer than the Pro V. You know, some people like that feel. They don't like that click feel yeah. when they're putting or when they're chipping and things like that. Yeah. Because again, okay. golfers are very particular. Yep. Um, some golfers, you know, like to have something that feels soft that comes off. Are there any tour players that play AVX? As of right now, I don't believe so. Okay. I know we had a few guys testing the product. I can't say for certain if, if it's being played right now. How about LPGA? Same with the LPGA. Okay. It's being okay. tested. Champions Tour? I don't know for sure. Okay. Uh, there may have been one or two players, but I can't say for certain. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. And then, so those are the premium balls, and I know there's the, there might be one more. Uh, the, which, which one is that? The, the uh, Tour Soft? Um, well, Torsoft is, is not a urethane cover, is it right? No, it's a, it's a Sterling cover. Sterling cover, off. okay. So now, when you're going down into the Torsoft, you have a lot of the same attributes or same qualities or performance features, mm -hmm. right? As in the premium golf ball. But I think uh, that is probably more of a price point golf ball for someone that wants some performance features as well. Is that correct? Yeah, I guess you can see that. And that's why we have different options. Uh -huh. Now, the Torsoft golf ball, great performance product golf ball. Um, it provides a good amount of spin and feel around the green, uh -huh. good distance off the tee. But being that it's a Serlin type of cover, blended cover, uh -huh. you're not gonna get that same reaction as a Pro V. Now granted, you know, some guys like it because it does feel softer, uh -huh. but you know, like you said, hey, maybe price point is a factor. When a right. guy says, hey, I'd love to pay Pro Vs all the time, but sometimes maybe my budget doesn't allow it, so. You know, the tour soft is a very good alternative to that. Got it. And and um, and then and then after the tour soft, is do we go to velocity? For velocity. That? Velocity oh. is when it goes right Okay. Down. And velocity, uh, you know, um, like the name would kind of indicate, is for distance. Is that correct? Correct. So the velocity golf ball is designed primarily for that golfer that doesn't necessarily prioritize spin around mm -hmm. the green. Mm -hmm. He just wants to hit it as far as he can. Yeah. So our Velocity Golf Ball um, has a little bit less spin than a Tour Soft, but the good thing about that, when you have a lower spinning golf ball, mm -hmm. it helps to minimize your side spin. Right. So it kind of helps keep your golf balls on the golf uh -huh. course. When a guy generates a lot of spin, especially with side spin, it's going to tend to slice more or hook more. Yeah. So that's where the Velocity Golf Ball kind of reduces that side spin so that guy can actually keep it on the golf course. Now, the, co the cool thing about Velocity Golf yeah. Balls is they do come in multiple colors. Yeah. Uh, we do currently have them in white, uh -huh. a matte orange, uh -huh. a matte green, uh -huh. and a matte blue finish right now. Okay, okay. Yeah. And so, um, is it the most durable of, in the product line too? Uh, I would say all of our golf balls are durable. Mm -hmm. um, when we talk about whether it's urethane covers or sterling covers now, uh -huh. um, they're a lot more durable than back when you and I were playing when yeah. we used to use Balata golf balls. Yeah. So um, the covers nowadays are very durable. Right. Um, but again, they respond a little bit different when it comes to spin, right. urethane versus sterling and whatnot. Yeah. So um, the Velocity Ball is, is an ideal ball for your weekend warrior, right? Because somebody, I would say so. I would yeah. say it, it, it fits right in line with um, a guy that, you know, again, he prioritizes distance. Yeah. It's a very good um, mid price point range golf ball. And, um, you know, he, you know he's going to get, you know, consistency uh, with the performance as far as flight, feel, and spin with the Velocity. So right. And, and, and fun colors. Exactly. Right. Um, 
as well as you said, reduced spin helps you to hit it straighter. So you can keep a few more of those golf balls in your bag yeah. as opposed to in the bushes, right? Especially on a hole like 13, you don't <laughs> right. want to be hitting it in the ocean, right? right. You want to keep it down the fairway, right. so you right. want to be able to right. minimize spin on it. Absolutely. All right, well, that kind of covers the, the product line, is that well, right? Well, the last one that we didn't go over what is, um, is the True Field Golf Ball. Oh, okay. So our True Field Golf Ball is our softest Titleist golf ball in the lineup. Oh. So the True Field, um, again, it's a Sterling covered golf ball, but mm -hmm. it's the softest golf ball, Titleist golf ball that we offer in our lineup. You know, so many people are into soft feel, right? And and for me, that sounds like a preference, right? But from a from a performance standpoint, how does this extreme soft feel tie into performance? Does it? Well, it does in a sense where, you know, for a lot of golfers that like that soft feel, they don't like a harsh feel at impact. Mm -hmm. So whether it's off the tee or mm -hmm. off your iron shots or even off a, a chip or a putt, yeah. you know, sometimes the certain golf balls have kind of that clickier feel. Yeah that they don't like that that harder feel they want something that's going to be softer yeah so with our true feel now again it's not a golf ball that is designed specifically based on gender it's not designed specifically on swing speed uh, but it is a golf ball that you know i see a lot of people with maybe moderate swing speed uh -huh. that do use a true feel because they like how it feels at impact yeah now when it comes to spin and control around the greens obviously you're not going to get that same type of control like you would in your Tour Soft or your AVXs or your Pro V. Right. But you will get that, that softer feel. And at an entry level price point, mm -hmm. you know, you, you're playing a, a Titleist golf ball that you know from a quality standpoint um, is gonna be really, really good. Yeah. But you know at a at a more affordable price. That's awesome. Yeah. Hey well thanks for sharing your knowledge. No, and thank you for folks having me. I hope that helps to answer a lot of questions uh, with regard to fitting your golf ball to your game and your preference. So uh, we have a wide selection of golf balls, Titleist and, and some others in the shop. And this week, if you like, subscribe and share, we'll go ahead and give you 15% off your next purchase. So come on out and see us, okay? And we'll see you at the Clipper. Hello.